All right, three secrets to making fat burning programs work for you. You gotta ask yourself quickly, do you really wanna lose weight? I know that sounds kind of awkward, but ask yourself, do you really wanna lose weight? Can building muscle help burn fat? Kind of obvious, I think, but think about it for a minute. And what program is right for you? Now that's the clincher, because you do need a program that's gonna actually work for you. And a lot of the stuff that you're probably doing right now is not actually working for you. So let's get into this. Lose weight or burn fat? What if I were to tell you that 99% of all people who are trying to lose weight had the wrong goal in mind? You're probably, you probably laugh, but a little part of you might be curious and might say, well, Dan, if they don't want to lose weight, what do they want to do? I mean, if the title didn't give it away, I don't want to burn fat. But think about it. I mean, the weight loss industry is a billion-dollar industry. There are pills. There are patches. There are supplements. Everything just given about just making weight loss the easiest thing ever. Pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies are currently working right now to try to make some kind of pill that you can pop that will still burn fat and make you lose weight. It's not going to come around. Actually, I, I, I can't take that back. I guarantee you, it will come around. But it's not going to be good because it's not going to build muscle and not going to give you energy. So we'll get to that at a later article. Well, the answer lies in three secrets that are going to really make fat burning programs work for you. Obviously, we don't want to lose fat. Or excuse me, obviously we don't want to lose weight. We want to burn fat or lose fat. So the first secret is maximum calorie burning. First off, let's clear the table. Let's make weight loss. Let's make it fat loss. Fat loss is what we want. Weight loss, who cares what the scale says? Does it? I mean, I don't care what the scale says. All I care is that I look good in the mirror and I feel good. That gives me confidence. What the scale says, nobody else knows what the scale says. And therefore, uh, who, who gives a crap, right? All right, so if you eat too many calories, what happens? So calories are the whole key to whether or not you get fat or you get skinny or you lose so much skinny, or you, make, or you become so skinny, you look freaky, kind of like an anorexic. Now, you eat too many calories, what happens? You eat too many calories, your body burns so much calories per day. Obviously, your heart's always beating, your lungs are always breathing, your internal organs are always functioning. That all burns calories. You're walking, you're sitting, you're standing, you're laughing, whatever the case might be. Now, your body still burns so much per day. You eat too many, all those extra calories that aren't needed to make your body function and do what it needs to do get packed on as fat. If you're a woman, unfortunately, it gets packed on as belly fat, butt fat, thigh fat, and arm fat. If you're a guy, unfortunately, it, makes, it just gets stacked on in your gut, and you get what we call skinny fat, where you're like got skinny little legs and you got a huge fat gut, and it's not very pretty. What happens if you eat too little calories? Well, too little calories, what happens is your body is going to need fuel from something. So what does it go to when there's no more calories for it to burn? It attacks your muscles and it starts breaking down the proteins in your muscles to get those, those, that, that energy so it can actually function. Really important for it to do that. So it will actually literally eat, eat itself dry. That's actually more dangerous than, eating too, dangerous than eating too many calories. So do not starve yourself. So what you need to do is try to concentrate on figuring out, first off, what your body's gonna burn, and I'll link up a nice little link for you to a, cal a, I cannot talk, a calculator that's gonna show you exactly, well, not exactly, but approximately what your body should be burning or what it, what it, what it might be burning per day. Subtract 300 from that, and then track your calories just for a week. I hate tracking calories myself, but to do it for a week, and if you concentrate on making it 300 less, you're actually going to lose a lot of body fat really quickly. Secret number two, shred fat and build strength with endurance training. Endurance training is a type of weight training, and that's what we're talking about. So all fat-burning programs that deal with weight training will use endurance training to burn fat. Endurance training has a couple key things that make it actually burn fat. First off, longer time under tension. Well, first off, you're going to be holding some kind of weight, pushing some kind of weight, or pulling some kind of weight. And you're going to be doing that for a longer period of time, which means your muscles are going to be activated for a long period of time, which means that they're actually going to be burning more calories because it's working for a long period of time. It's actually pretty intuitive. 
In fact, most things in the fitness industry are pretty common sense. Since your muscles are working longer, they're obviously burning more calories. And as we learned in my other article, which I'll link to as well, you use supersets working different muscle groups to burn the maximum calories. Secret number two, actually secret number three, excuse me. Burn your muscles with cardio training. If you know me, you've been reading my articles, watching my videos, you probably know that I'm not a big cardio fan. In fact, I'm not a big cardio fan the way cardio has turned out to be. Running on treadmills, it's a waste of time. Running on elliptical machines, it's a waste of time. Running outside for three miles or 40 minutes or whatever the case might be, it's a waste of time. Stop doing it immediately. You're just not doing anything anymore. Your body's already used to it. What you need to do is have a good strong cardio blast that's also going to mix muscle activation. There's only one way to do that, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Consistent movement, though, of what cardio is. So cardio is a long time period, usually 20 to 30 minutes. Try not to go over 30, minute, 30, excuse me, 30 minutes, but consistent movement for that long of time makes your muscles work for that amount of time, which means you're burning calories constantly. So that's kind of the whole fundamental thing behind cardio training. But here's the key. Your body's extremely efficient. So if you run on the treadmill, if you have been running on the treadmill for about 40 minutes, three times a day, your body is so used to that already, you're just wasting your time in the gym. You're not burning fat, you're not building muscle, you're going into the gym, you're doing something your body already knows how to do, you're leaving the gym and you're just gonna pack on more fat because you're probably not changing your nutrition very much. And nutrition is the key. Different article, different time. So the key is use cardio circuit training. Circuit training not only uses the cardio's vascular system, but also activates your muscles, which gives you a metabolism boost. And that's key. So the fat burning program takeaway. Redefine your goals. Look at yourself in the mirror or ask yourself right now, what's my goal? Is it to lose weight? It shouldn't be. It should be to lose fat. That's your new goal. Two, implement endurance training, but don't forget the other types of training like hypertrophy, which is muscle building, or power training. You've got to give your body something different all the time. If it's not going to get different things, it's going to adapt very easily, and you're just not going to get the effective training that you need to get shredded, get ripped up, to feel good, to get that energy boost. Nothing, not even a pill, can do that for you. So this is the only way to do it. It's been done for thousands of years. Start right now. Number three, use cardio circuit training. Now, if you're, if you're like training for a marathon or a 10K or whatever the case might be, train for the darn race. But other than that, use cardio circuit training. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to get you the good cardiovascular workout. Don't worry about guys like, um, like the military boot camp type things. I mean, that's different kind of stuff. That's for people that want to actually really push themselves hardcore. But if you just want to feel good, if you just want to look incredible, and if you just want to just Get that energy that's going to push you through the day, cardio circuit training is the way. I did not mean to rhyme. It sounded terrible. But anyway, so train with Taylor and I at theartofweightlifting.com, www.theartofweightlifting.com. We build for you workouts every single month, brand spanking new. We film the workouts brand spanking new every single month. We give you expert interviews, nutrition programs, cooking shows. We give you the whole real deal for a really, really cheap cost. And I think it's really worth it. So check it out for me. Tell me what you think. So get your free fitness report. You probably saw already at the very bottom of this whole presentation. Free fitness report at fitnessanalyzer.com. Well, we surveyed the whole fitness industry. Actually, we kept this running for all, probably about two months or so. And uh, Taylor and I asked eight questions or so, or actually had eight answers for the question of what's the biggest problem holding you back. Four answers were pretty much dead even by the time we stopped. And those were the only four that were ever chosen. So, you got to figure out what are those four that report will tell you. And it is free of charge. Obviously, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I want your email address so I can give you some cool newsletters and some cool newsletter issues and keep uh, drive traffic to my blog so you can learn more about how to actually get ripped. But you're also going to learn because these problems are quote-unquote myths in the fitness industry. And if you can defeat them, you can get your goals done. No more of the pills and the drugs and stuff. No more of the crappy infomercial stuff. And, you know, if you just want to look good and feel good, this is the way to do it. It'll revolutionize your life. And uh, thanks for listening.